Hey, Evangelist Rob here. Guys, if we want to win the showdown, then we need to learn how to slow down. We need to learn how to slow down our lives and stop tweeting, texting, doing all the... Think about 10, 15 years ago, guys, how people didn't have access to you like they do now. Now someone texts you. If you don't answer them within 30 seconds, they get offended, they get angry, they get mad, they break out in a rash. Instant messaging, email, everything. It's just become crazy, man. You know, and I learned one thing. Brother Rob's not a slave to his cell phone. I've had a, a lot of people, friends in ministry, a lot of friends, and they want to just hang out on the phone all day. And I tell them, guys, I don't do this. I don't profusely text or I'm not on the phone. I don't talk on the phone that much. I don't text a lot. Unless it's of utmost importance for ministry or a ministerial need or my wife or my kids, etc. But I am not a slave to the to technology. And people that are, are not slowed down. They're not going to be able to hear the voice of the Lord. It's in the quiet. It's in the still small voice. It's about coming apart. If you don't come apart, you'll eventually come apart. And Jesus himself, the Bible says, often withdrew to a lonely place and prayed all night. The ministry and of the demand on the Christ, he couldn't even be on land and preach. He had to borrow Peter's boat and preach from a boat in the water so people couldn't get to him and touch him. They couldn't even get into a house to get healed one day. They had to rip the roof off. Now, if you're new, it would be an honor. Please subscribe. I'm also live Mondays, 9 p.m. Eastern New York, prophesying, preaching, praying. If you have any prayer needs, put it in the comment section below. Also on the live stream, anyone that comes in the chat says, pray for me, minister to me. We do see that and we do move in the prophetic. It's powerful. If you want to check it out, that's all good. 1 Kings 19.4, hallelujah, I'm sorry, 1 Kings 19.11, he said, go out, stand on the mountain before the Lord, behold, the Lord passed by, a great and strong wind tore into the mountains, broke the rocks, but the Lord was not in the wind, after the wind and earthquake, the Lord was not in an earthquake, after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire, a still, small voice, or a delicate, whispering voice. People wonder why I don't even have TV on in the house. I don't even have TV hooked up. Is it weird? Is it strange? Yeah, it is. I know what's going on in the news enough. I want to hear what the Lord's saying. I can't hear if there's all these distractions and voices going on. I don't even listen to music many times. It's not weird. I want to hear what the Lord's speaking and saying. So it was when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle. When Elijah heard it, you've got to be in this. You got to be in the place that God can speak to you in Isaiah chapter forty. Have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary? He gives power to the weak. Now listen to this, the youth shall faint, be weary, but those who wait upon the Lord. There's something about solitude. There's something about aloneness. Listen, you're not going to get in your prayer closet what you're going to get in the corporate setting in a church on a Sunday morning and midweek service. And you're not going to get in a midweek service what you're going to get in your prayer closet or your aloneness. But you've got to have the aloneness, the stillness of the Lord. Father, we're still, we're hearing, we're listening, we're seeking you, we're fellowship, we're communing with you. We're coming to you just for you. We're not asking. We're not pleading. We're not striving. We're not begging. We don't always come to you for stuff. We're seeking your face, not your hand. And guys, that's where you're going to find the Lord. 
you're going to hear this still small voice in his presence, in the aloneness with the Christ. The Lord bless you. Amen.